kids are our future. At least that's what they've been telling us the past decades. And personally, I do believe it's true. It must be. However, when we look at our modern generation sitting around in the classroom, we feel more like looking at zombies just waiting for the school bell to give way to freedom. So as a teacher, I have to ask, is this the future we want to create? Are those the next innovators, creators, and makers? Dancers, performers, artists? Humans you want to be so proud of? I want you to go back a bit in time and think about your school. How did you behave in school? I know school is a bad theme because nobody loves school, really. But at least you learned something from it. Your teacher made you learn stuff. You had to go through a certain process to get your diploma. You had to do an effort to get something back. Today, it looks more like this. <laughs> Students are bored in classrooms. Now, how does that come? Well, basically, we base everything on competences. Now, competences are so easy to attend these days that there is no sense in teaching them new stuff because they don't care about the old stuff. They don't progress. They don't push themselves. And this is our mission as teachers. We should be able to get them thriving on what they learn. So let's go back a bit in history. What would have happened if Leonardo hadn't invented the flying machine? Or Tesla didn't produce alternate current? What about Henry Ford's manufacturing process? Or Marie Curie and her radioactivity studies? Not to mention my personal idol, Steve Wozniak, and his development of the personal computer. Well, what made those people special? What keep them going? They all shared one common thing. They were makers. They were sitting in their labs, rooms, garages, assembling, trying out, yes, even burning stuff, before coming up with a usable product, or at least a concept. Today, we lost all those skills. As we keep on teaching theory, boring stuff, basics. But we should get back to this maker philosophy. We want our students to touch, to feel, to try, to innovate, yes, and to fail. And that is exactly what a makerspace does. Makerspace is based on a philosophy to learn while doing. Now, neither is this concept really new, nor did we invent it, but our school tries to implement this as good as we can. Our Mac 3 Makerspace is a project that will debut this summer, and it will take students on a voyage to boldly go where no one of them has ever gone before, the exploration of their creative minds. Together with accompanying teachers, we want to bring new technology, skills to students, make them thrive on trying to experience new stuff, and most importantly, we want to take time to listen and talk about their ideas. Even though we don't have a physical space yet, we have already started doing some activities for our students. For example, teaching them how to use microcontrollers, learning, uh, teaching them how to solder to create basic electronic uh, circuits, master 3D design so that they can create and print their proper parts on our 3D printer. That printer can be seen during the break in the cafe, by the way. Or use the solar power to make solar boats run across a lake. But all of these are a mere beginning. As we go forward to find sponsors and supporters for our makerspace, and most importantly, courage for this new idea of schooling, we might change the way we teach and learn in the future. Thank you. <laughs>